Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my film series, uh, Volume 6, um, for my film series. I started a new film series. Uh, I just finished uh, uh, Volume 4. No, no, um, I started Volume 4 last week, and I finished Volume 3. Okay, so I was trying to decide what series of films should I uh, pick for my sixth volume, and I came up with three grid films that I got. I got this, I believe... Uh, from a fellow YouTuber from the UK, and I'm gonna say it was from um, from Robin 176. And I think it was from her that I got this. This is the uh, Hannibal Lecter trilogy. Okay, the three discs as Red Dragon, Silence of the Lambs, and Hannibal. And the ironic thing, of course, is that of course Silence of the Lambs is filmed first, and then Hannibal, and then Red Dragon, even though. Book-wise, it's Red Dragon first, then Silence of the Lambs, then Hannibal. So that's the way they kind of present them. Because time-wise, that's how they figure out, you know, how they're um, constructed. Time-wise, book-wise, it's, it's Red Dragon, then Silence of the Lambs, then Hannibal. But in actuality, the one in the middle, Silence of the Lambs, is filmed first, then Hannibal, then Red Dragon. Okay, so I'm going with the way that they uh, actually chronologically chronologically, excuse me, that's a funny word to say, uh, we're done, and that means we have to go through, okay, 2002, I believe, let me just make sure of that, yep, 2002's uh, Red Dragon, this movie, of course, stars uh, Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter, uh, of course, Edward Norton, uh, he's the main the main character in this movie. He's a uh, uh, FBI agent, Will Graham. Okay, and then you have uh, Ralph Fiennes. Uh, he plays Francis Delahide. Then you have Hardy Cartel, who plays uh, fellow FBI agent uh, Jack Crawford, um, Will Graham's boss. Then you, of course, you have uh, Emily Watson in there, and you have uh, Mary Louise Parker and Philip Seymour, the late Philip Seymour Hoffman in this. And in this movie, uh, as it begins, you see uh, Dr. Hannibal Lecter uh, entertaining a, a snooty uh, bunch of uh, uh, blue bloods uh, after a, a concert, and he's basically feeding them food. And of course, you know they, they met, even mentioned that there's a well, we missed the uh, you know the disappearance of this uh, missing flute player. <laughs> okay, and of course, what what they don't and what we know is actually he's actually. Actually, well, I won't say that. What happens next is after the dinner party's over, and uh, Will Graham comes to see Hannibal Lecter, who been, he's been consulting with on various cases to help basically catch, you know, serial killers. He's and he's stumped on his latest case, and he basically comes to you know uh, Hannibal Lecter to try to figure it out, help him figure it out, because he's worked with him in the past. And of course, as he's figuring it out in his, in his head, and you know. They go back and forth, and and Will Graham almost has it about who's the latest uh, disappearances and stuff, and and why he thinks that somebody's actually eating the party parts, okay? And 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 Hannibal basically says he's stuck, and he just he said, he said come back tomorrow, and he goes to get Will's coat, and just at that moment Will gets up and starts reading books, and Hannibal's shelf, and that's when he pulls out a book that basically. <laughs> uh, clues him in that Hannibal is the person he's looking for. And just at that moment, when he turns around with the realization and to pull out his gun, Hannibal stabs him, and of course, he's about to basically about to kill him, <laughs> and basically tells him, listen, I'm going to eat, I really admire that brain of yours, and I'm going to eat, I'm gonna, I'll probably eat it. <laughs> and then, of course, Graham happens to stab him, and then recover his gun and his ankle gun, and shoot Hannibal a couple a couple of times, thereby, but not killing him, and capturing, uh, you know, the great doctor Hannibal Lecter, uh, who, who has the trial and the prelog, you know, the flashback, quick newspaper articles of the trial and stuff, and even how Will Graham was fighting for his life and stuff, and how he's uh, recovering, and how he actually testifies at the trial, and of course, uh, Dr. Hannibal Lecter gets nine life sentences, okay, and Will... Graham, Agent Will Graham retires from the FBI and goes to live in Florida with his wife and his young son. Okay, and then of course, there's a few years later when these uh, a serial killer 
another serial killer happens upon society and his guy they call, nickname him the Tooth Fairy. Uh, okay, he w basically wipes out whole entire families and he struck two times. And they kind of figured out, you know, the FBI, uh, uh, Will Grant's former boss, uh, played by uh, Harvey Hartel, Dr. Jack Crawford, comes to him and t basically, you know, tells him, listen, I'm, we have this serial killer and called the Tooth Fairy and we need your help. And of course, you know, at first, Will Graham is kind of over it and doesn't really want to do it. But he slides the pictures to him and kind of convinces him, kind of pushes him into it. And he starts looking and then he has to, excuse me, break it down to his wife that he wants to go and help. And um, go down to the examine the crime scenes, and you know find out if you can help these people. Hey, and of course you find out like Will Graham has a special, I guess say gift for these figuring out these serial killers. So he agrees to go if he can help. So and he goes and it, with you know with the reluctant <laughs> blessing of his wife. Okay, and basically this movie is the rest of this movie is Will Graham figuring out who uh, the serial killer is. I think. That they call him the Red Dragon, and there's a reason why they call him the Red Dragon, which I don't want to spoil, which they do explain in the movie. And that character, well, I don't want to, is played by Ralph Fiennes, you know, the serial killer. I don't think that's giving anything away, uh, saying that Ralph Fiennes plays the serial killer in this movie. Okay, and let me just say, uh, the rest of the movie, like I said, is uh, a Will Graham trying to, you know, figure out clues and stuff and to the identity of this Red Dragon that's killing out and they figured that they figured they figured out that he's killing these wiping out these whole entire families though during the full moon and there's another full moon coming up in a couple of days so they basically need him to see if they can find any way to you know to track this two fairy character down before he annihilates another family okay and again I I really like this movie this is uh, probably the second best I think the second best uh, Hannibal Lecter movie okay besides Silence of the Lambs. And I think Edward Norton is really good as well, Graham. You know, the FBI agent figuring out, figuring out, you know, trying to figure out the clues to this identity of the serial killer that's wiping out these families. Okay, I think uh, Ralph, uh, Ralph Fiennes. Well, Edward Norton does a great job as well, Graham. I thought he was very believable. And then you have Ralph Fiennes who plays uh, the serial killer in this movie, and I think he showed a, a great character range too as well. As a guy who's wiping out these families, and you can they go into a little bit of why. You know why he um you think why he's <laughs> basically doing this stuff and why he's disturbed as he is okay they kind of give you a kind of little of the background to figure that out and I thought Ralph Fiennes was was good as uh and also uh Philip Seymour Hoffman's in there as a uh, annoying reporter that works for a Tattletale magazine and of course he has a real memorable scene which I don't want to spoil in this movie okay and okay uh, Howdy Cartel is Jack Crawford the boss. You know, Will Graham, or former boss, uh, is really good as well. He, you know, he's you know Harvey Keitel is very professional and does a great job. But Anthony Hopkins is a Hannibal Lecter in this movie. He really, really <laughs> is scary in this movie as well. You know, he, I mean, the conversation between him and uh, Will Graham and Edward Norton are always filled with a certain sort of tension. Even though Anthony Hopkins is behind a glass, his character, and this, but there's a, even a one scene where he's actually chained. And it can only go above, above a certain feet. And he has a, basically has to a walk around the gym, for, I think, for an hour. Okay, that's his exercise. And like I said, anytime he's in a com you know, conversation with uh, Will Graham, because Will Graham has to, you know, after he um, comes back and helps and tries to figure out who this guy is, uh, Jack Crawford, played by Harvey Kittel, kind of mentions, kind of suddenly tries to nudge him to go see Hannibal Lecter and see if Hannibal Lecter has any clues to who this guy who the serial killer is because he was a most forensic before he was revealed a serial killer he was actually helping the FBI uh, track down other serial killers okay and let me say I have to say Anthony Hopkins was absolutely fantastic in this uh, he was great as Hannibal Lecter like I said any, any scene with him and Will Graham was just filled with tension and he was really really good and like I said I like Edward Norton in this movie and I definitely think this is the second best <laughs> uh, I guess uh, Hannibal Collector story, okay. Anyway, uh, next week since uh, I would give uh, I'm sorry, I didn't give it a grade. Uh, Red Dragon, I would definitely give Red Dragon an eight out of ten. I think this is a really really good movie. It, what a great cast, a nice story, and uh, what more can you want? A nice story and uh, 
and great performances by the actors involved. Okay, so I definitely give Red Dragon an 8 out of 10. Definitely totally worth getting. And the next movie that I will be doing for next week is, of course, the classic. Uh, of course, one that it won two Academy Awards and I think Best Picture as well. Uh, Silence of the Lambs. That'll be next week. Okay, so tune in next Sunday for my review of Silence of the Lambs. Okay, okay, and again, I give Red Dragon a uh, 8 out of 10. I really, really like this. I definitely highly recommend it. If you haven't seen this, check out Red Dragon. Okay, I thought Edward Norton was good. Ralph Fiennes was good. Even Emily Watson was good in this. So definitely check out Red Dragon. Okay, even though technically it was filmed the third in the series, even though it's really supposed to be book-wise, the first movie. Okay, and also uh, a known fact, uh, I forgot what year it came out. Uh, the movie with William Peterson about Hannibal Lecter, uh, uh, Manhunter. Okay, this is supposed to be basically Manhunter. Uh, this is, I guess, a remake of Manhunter, the one where um, you had A.M. Grant, Agent Graham, played by uh, William Peterson in that movie, trying to track down the serial killer in that movie, which I believe is played by, uh, uh, I think, what's the guy's name? Um, Tom, Noon Tom Noonan? I think that was his name, Tom Noonan. He's a real tall actor. Anyway, uh, anyway, let me know what you think of uh, my review of Red Dragon. Feel free to leave comments down below. It's Trey Passer saying so long and take care and tune in next week for my review of Silence of the Lambs. I'm out.